I have sinned against you, my Lord. And I would ask that your precious blood. Praise, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. You can do better than that. Give God a hand and praise. Hallelujah. He woke you up this morning. Hallelujah. You rolled out of that bed. You didn't fall. You walked around and stubbed your toe. Give God a hand and praise. And you walked in, in victory on today. Give him a praise. Hallelujah. This is the Master Prophet Levi T. Master Prophet Levi T. I'm there's a video of uh, Jimmy Swaggett, his son, done it. And uh, we're going to talk about it. Uh, I'm here in Israel. And it's, uh, the Lord loves Israel. I'll be back over in the States shortly. But I had to come over and do some mission work. Hallelujah. Let's take a look at this uh, video of this boy, preacher, pastor, calling himself rebuking, if you please, uh, 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 the, the black church. Here we go. I'm going to be, for what, the statement I'm about to make, I'm going to be called a racist. And I will be called every name under the sun. Right off the bat, if you got to say that, then don't say it at all. Hallelujah. If you think you're going to be called a racist, then most likely you are a racist. If you got to preface it in that fashion, uh, shut your mouth. Let the Lord shut your mouth up and uh, don't say it. Keep it to yourself. But let's, let's continue. But somebody needs to stand up and speak to the black church. When the large and the, the congregants are clapping about this, I'm sure they all lily white. And I got lily whites in my uh, uh, congregation. I love my whites, but my whites don't get caught up in that foolishness of racism. My understanding, he's talking about Bishop J. Drew Shear, the husband of Karen Clark Shear. Let's continue. Just Pentecostal. When the largest African American Pentecostal denomination, when that leader stands up and said, I endorse that woman. He was saying, I endorse murder. I endorse homosexuality. I endorse lesbianism. I endorse transgenderism. I endorse every evil that hell could prosper, bring up to the right. That's wrong. And you stand up. Uh, you white preacher and say that you endorse Donald Trump. You're saying I endorse a oh, oh, whole You say I hold on. Let's put this. When you get up up yonder, white pastor preacher, and say you endorse Donald Trump, <clears throat> you saying I endorse a whole I endorse sexual assault. <clears throat> I endure lying. I endure fornication. I I, I endorse a uh, 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 ridiculousness and evil, evil. Hallelujah! Come on, folks. Yeah. And the black church votes predominantly for the party that is anti-God. What's going on here? What's going on? See, my statement to them is this. We, we, we've had them call into the program. Yes, and I don't like it when you talk about it. Well, no, the problem is they don't like it because we're stepping on their toes. Hello? But I guarantee you, if 1860 was today, they wouldn't say a word about preachers preaching against slavery. They would trumpet it, and they should. Absolutely, they should. You, help me, Holy Ghost. Almost, almost cussed. I'm well under the weather. I'm trying not to go there. I'm a little parched. I let the the, the, the gentleman finish. So then, why will not the African American church? 
stand up for righteousness and stand up for the word of God. Come on, church. Come on. You can call me a racist. You can call me every name under the sun, but I am right. I come against you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't vote for somebody just because mama voted him or daddy voted for them, but you vote according to the word of God. Come out from among them. Does he not realize that Donald Trump uh, paid off a prostitute that he screwed and talked about his mushroom penis and then they tried to recently try to give us some more money to hash up recently during this election is that is that a lost on these folks uh, and, and let, let me just be clear bring me up bring me up let me bring me let me be clear I understand what it's trying to say. Me uh, not being Democrat or Republican, as uh, I'm a man of God, hallelujah. Wherever God tells me to go is where I go when it comes to these things. But, and, and I understand uh, I'm not a proponent of blacks, uh, black people voting Democrat just because Granny Nam did that. I'm not that matter of fact, I'm not even for them voting Democrat at all or Republican because they both are the plantation. They both are the same. They get up there and fuss and, fuss and fight with one and another, and then they go out and have drinks. <laughs> but the way he's putting it, hallelujah, to insist to that them voting for Kamala. Hallelujah. It's somewhat worse than voting for Donald. It's altogether wrong because Donald is head and shoulders worse, if you please, than Kamala in, in his personal deeds. No way you can make, make a sense of voting for him when he's doing the things that are against the word of God. And Kamala is simply uh, leading the, the, the party, if you will, of the people that uh, support things that are supposed that, that people say ain't in the Bible or in the Bible that the Lord say ain't, ain't, ain't right upon him, homosexuality, uh, things that are in their gay marriage, things that are in their nature, which some can contest it however they want to. Uh, but she's not actually doing these things. She's with Doug, yeah. She ain't got her no woman. Uh, but Donald is out there fornicating and has. We heard him say, grab him by the, um, you know what, hallelujah. We heard him say that. So I want to see how he finishes this thing up. And be ye separate, says the Lord of hosts. If you are a Christian, start acting like a Christian. If you claim to be holy and righteous, start acting holy and start acting righteous. Now, I will be called a racist. I will be called every name under the sun because I get their emails. But I want to serve notice on the devil right now. I like what old Uncle Bud Robinson, the Nazarene evangelist, he said, as long as I got fist, I'm going to hit the devil. When I can't pick up my hands anymore, I'll use my feet and I'll kick the devil. And when I can't kick him and hit him anymore, I'll bite him. And when I don't have any teeth left, I'll gum the devil to death. I will not be silent. I will not shut up. This country is too great. This country is too important. This country was birthed by God. You, know, you got a brother over there sitting on the right. Uh, I wonder what that brother feels about this. And I wonder what the Negroes in the audience feel about it. And I wonder if, in fact, it, it affects his uh, uh, congregants and his membership numbers. And guess what? That's the one thing that you can get when it affects those tithes. Come on, somebody. When it affects those offerings, when it affects uh, morale. 
Hallelujah. And it affects um, <clears throat> how many people coming in in your pocketbook or oh, you change your tune, Pastor. Uh, swag it. Oh, you change your tune. Now, matter of, matter of fact, who is your daddy? Huh? Your daddy, Jimmy Swagger. In 1988, there was a prostitution scandal. Remember that? Preacher Pastor Donnie. You remember your daddy? His first, mind you. All you gotta do is go to Wikipedia and see it. <clears throat> His first, matter of fact, let me share it, which, and we're going to read it together. You need to clean up round, sweep around your own uh, yard poach, if you please, before you start thinking you're going to give uh, preach, uh, black folk a lesson, if you please. But it's like, yeah, this is your daddy. Is he still alive? He looks like he's still alive, isn't that? Tell event. Let's go on down to it. Let me see. Prostitution scandals, if you please. 1988. Uh, Swaggin was accused of patronizing a tooch, if you please. Prostitute time. This will preach right here. He was suspended, if you will. And ultimately, the fright, it wouldn't the fright me. Hallelujah, my Lord. Uh, degraded, removed uh, by the assemblies of God. Hallelujah. Three years later, he was implicated, if you please, on another. He picked him up another two. I wonder if it was a gal or a boy. Uh, another scandal involving a if you please. As a result, Swaggin's ministry became non-affiliated, non-denominational, <laughs> and significantly smaller than it was in the ministry's pre-scandal year. Now, Swaggin's sex scandals received national attention. Then in 88, they had to talk some more about it. Me see a uh, retaliated uh, scandal. Okay. He looked like he was awarded, damn it. Hold on, wait a minute now. Let's see. Right, 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 right. He, let me see here. Yeah, okay, that's it. Looks like Gorman, uh, there's somebody sued uh, Swaggit for $10 million in 91. Oh, my. I'm the Holy Ghost. So I think, oh, my, look at him. Look at him. Look at how the hot mess. He brought the tears saying he, I have said, oh, let's pull up your daddy. I have sinned against you, my Lord. Uh, uh, as of 2007, hold on, 1991, there was another prostitute. He found and the company of a prostitute for us again, pulled over by a police officer in California. It seems you know a lot about uh, 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 goings on, if you please. That is, in not, Have you talked to your daddy? Have you addressed your pop? Have you addressed your papa and your daddy about his indiscretions? Perhaps you should do that before you address the black church. Hmm? Jimmy Swaggett? Donny Swaggett, I mean? That's the word of the Lord. This is the Master Prophet Levi T. Master Prophet Levi T. Let me know what you're thinking. Comments about Donny. Ah, be blessed. I have sinned against you, my Lord. And I would ask that your precious blood would wash and cleanse every stain until it is in the seas of God's forgetfulness.